Hello guys, in this video we are going to continue with static analysis and we are going to go over strings. Um, and strings are ASIC or an Unicode printable sequences of characters embedded within a file. And extracting strings uh, can give clues about the program functionality and indicators associated with a suspect binary. For example, if a binary creates a file, the file name is stored as a string in the binary. Okay. Do you want me to repeat that again? If a malware creates a file, the file name is stored as a string in the binary. And also, um, if a malware is trying to connect to a um, to a website, right? When it makes that connection, that is also going to be saved as a string. Um, and it's going to be stored as a string in in the binary. Okay. And also, if a malware resolves a domain name controlled by the attacker, then the domain name is stored as a string as well. So any IP address, domain name, um, you know, Windows API, registry keys that it touches, URL, domain names, file names, IP addresses, Windows API, all of that is going to be saved um, or stored as a string in the binary. And we are going to be able to extract that by using strings. And, you know, like I said, that the, the tools that we can use for this are going to be, we can use uh, just strings from sys, sys internals. Uh, we can use shell extensions. We can do PE Studio. So we can use PEID as well. And what we're going to be looking for, um, it's going to be data like this. Uh, so whenever you try to get the strings, and if you see something like this, that looks like that, that's going to be the section names, right? The, that text that and the that our data, right? The readable data, the R S R C and the that R E lock. That's those are going to be section names. We are going to be talking about that later. Um, you're also going to be able to see like an application has made an attempt to load the C runtime library in, in incorrectly, and those are going to be strings related to library code or that DLL that DLL code. Um, and whenever you see these ones like this, you can just ignore those. Um, and if you get something like get temp path w virtual a lock ex lock resource write process memory and other and other ones like that, those are going to be uh, Windows API names and API that's going to have its own video later on. And more over here that you want to be looking for. If you see a cmd.exe in here, maybe the you know that malicious code is trying to execute some something from the command line uh, and if you see something like uh, high school version 13 like a D and like a name path right that's going to be a PDB path and after googling you might find related samples and articles talking about this path uh, if you see PST PD PDT photo that JPEG SF Adobe and Adobe Photoshop and stuff like that uh, maybe there is a you know the the photo that JPEG file embedded in the file uh, made by Adobe Photoshop. Um, maybe the date of creation. So if you find stuff like that, those are what we are uh, looking for. So like I said before, um, what we want to be looking for are file names, URL, domains, IP addresses, register keys, Windows API and you know path as well and seeing if he's trying to open um, any executables in there and um, those are going to be um, indicators so for this we are going to be using a couple of tools so i can show you how to get it from different tools like just using strings from the command line um, shell extensions pe studios and peid so i didn't want to make this video um, too long because since we're going to be using uh, multiple ways to find strings uh, just going to divide it and so it doesn't get too long of a video so therefore on the next videos or the next video we are going to be ex extracting strings uh, manually right just using the strings from the command line and we are also going to be using um, like um, shell extensions um, PE studios and PEID as well so I will see you on the next videos, guys. Bye-bye.